rain threatens the nation's harvest. Two weeks of the wettest August in memory cost farmers 20 million pounds. This represents their loss of grain crops alone, for of the estimated 7 million bumper yield, at least 700,000 tonnes have been destroyed. The farmers' loss of wheat is our loss of bread. This was to be Britain's greatest harvest for 15 years. To reach a record output, farming has taken on a new look. To investigate farming's new methods and new ideas, the cameras spend a harvest day at Chichester with farmer Robert Mason. His is a mixed farm of 700 acres. To Mr Mason and the nation, a good harvest will mean more milk, more eggs, for farmers can now keep one-fifth of their stock for feeding livestock. The government target for agriculture is an additional output of £100 million worth of food yearly. It is hoped to reach this high standard by 1952. Farmer Mason gives a clue to what is needed. To increase the nation's supply of food, we have to cultivate every available acre of land. That means more machinery and more labour. With labour short, Mr Mason practices what he preaches. He began with a sickle. Today he owns five tractors. But machinery is difficult to obtain and workers impossible to replace. And to add to his difficulties, there's always the uncertainty of the British weather. Part answer to the problem lies with a new combine harvester which is able to cut the wheat, thrash it and bag it all in one process. There are now 6,400 machines like this throughout Britain. Their output totals more than one million tonnes of grain, more than one-seventh of our estimated harvest. To the farm worker too, the new deal in agriculture has brought better times. He now gets a guaranteed wage of £4.10 a week. At harvest time he can earn £10. 63-year-old Walter Hudson remembers what things were like in the old days. I've been on the land 54, 54 years and started at four and six a week. During the weather disaster of the past few weeks, grain drying plants have proved their worth. 